hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video and in this video we are actually going to be talking something very important so you have read the title it says whether coinbase the biggest exchange of cryptocurrencies in the united states faces a risk of going bankrupt so we are going to discuss that and without further ado let me actually minimize my screen and let's talk about it okay so first off let's start by seeing the stock price of coinbase so we know that coinbase is a publicly traded company it went public last year in april 2021 i believe so the stock price has been hammered since the last few days so it's down 40 percent from 5th of may so today it's 11th of may when i'm recording this video and it's down around 35 to 40 percent and just in the last one day it is down by 15 percent if you can see here it's 12 percent basically so coinbase stock is falling now what is the reason behind coinbase stock falling what is the reason that there is a lot of talk about coinbase going bankrupt or not so we'll we'll i'll give you a proper answer yes or no so this is not a clickbait i am writing this title because this is the talk of the community right now whether coinbase will go bankrupt what's happening with coinbase and why are we talking about coinbase going bankrupt there is a reason to that as well so to start with why is the stock falling it's simple so this is the reason why the stock is falling so the reason why the stock is falling is is here so shares fell about 16 percent after the close of regular trading and this is because the current quarter is going to be worse than the first quarter that is one reason that this quarter which we are in right now coinbase has given a guidance that this quarter is actually going to be worse than the first quarter of 2022 and what was the first quarter of 2022 the performance in the first quarter of 2022 was also not appealing to the investors why because the first quarter revenue slumped to 1.7 billion and analysts expectations were not met that is one thing so first quarter revenue was not up to the expectation it missed the expectations also the monthly active users fell so Coinbase had a monthly active user base of probably estimated 9.5 million but the numbers which came out uh, during the first quarter uh, results report was 9.2 million. So it was expected that the monthly uh, transacting users would be 9.5 but they were just 9.2 and uh, the revenue which was expected also did not meet the target and the guidance is saying that this quarter the second quarter will actually be worse off than the first quarter so these are a few things which are happening at coinbase and overall if we see the global crypto markets so bitcoin is down 50 percent since november f is down like basically the whole fucking crypto market is hammered right so everything is down in crypto and we are in a bearish territory right now and even the stock markets around the world are down so you know it's acceptable that coinbase is down as well but coinbase has actually exacerbated the situation of coinbase because of uh, lower revenue and missing expectations and lower transacting users lower crypto volumes everything because obviously coinbase is a crypto exchange and all of its most of its revenue comes from people buying and selling crypto and they earning a commission or they earning a brokerage now when the volume is falling in the markets people retail investors like you and me are trying to stay away from the markets because markets are falling then obviously transacting users on coinbase will also take a hit that's one thing why the stock is falling but coming back to the main title of the video will it go bankrupt is it facing a bankruptcy risk why are we talking about this we are talking about coinbase going bankrupt or you know, the risk of bankruptcy for coinbase because of the form 10q that is basically the quarterly filing so every company does a quarterly filing and coinbase has done it as well nothing no big deal but what is so special in the first quarter filings of uh, coinbase it is that let's go to page number 83 uh, 69 83 so in this coinbase says something very uh, I would say surprising for its uh, users it says that in case the company goes bankrupt so let's say i am a user of coinbase i hold my cryptocurrencies on coinbase i have bought like let's say a lot of cryptocurrencies and in case the company is going bankrupt there is a possibility that my cryptocurrencies would be seized and i would not be able to access my cryptocurrencies that is what this filing says let's read it together okay so moreover let's uh, zoom this 
okay so read more let me check if i can highlight it first off yeah i can so moreover because custodial held crypto assets may be considered to be the property of the bankruptcy estate so the crypto assets which are being held may be considered as the property of the bankruptcy estate in event of bankruptcy the crypto assets would we hold in custody on behalf of our customers could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings so you see what coinbase says that the crypto assets which they are holding on behalf of our customers that is retail investors like you and me could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings and such customers could be treated as our general unsecured creditors so in case coinbase goes bankrupt we will not be considered as the customers and the owners of the crypto but we would be considered as creditors to the company so they have to pay us back and if a firm is going bankrupt so why obviously they can't pay back to the creditors that is why they are going bankrupt that is why they are declaring bankruptcy so this is what coinbase has said so this may result in customers finding our custodial services more risky and less attractive so they do accept that if this is the case then customers would not like their custodial service and uh, storing the uh, cryptocurrencies on the coinbase exchange rather they would go for like a self custodial wallet with private keys which we have the access to so what else they say any failure to increase our customer base discontinuation or reduction in use of our platform and products by existing customers as a result could adversely impact our business operating results and financial condition so it has given a proper disclosure coinbase has said that in case in the future we go bankrupt then all of our users and the cryptocurrencies which we hold on behalf of the users there is a high risk of that crypto being seized as a part of bankruptcy proceedings and our customers our users will actually be considered as unsecured creditors to us so these are unsecured and they have they are last in line to get the payments of their credit which they have given us basically so to sum it all up coinbase has given a clear warning but does that mean and the stock is falling of course and does that mean will coinbase go bankrupt so this is the big question which the community is asking and let's go to the answer the ceo of coinbase global uh, brian armstrong he has answered it himself and he sent out like a whole thread of tweet with 9 10 tweets and he has answered it and the clear answer is well not now okay so coinbase currently is not facing a risk of bankruptcy but in their 10q first quarter 2022 report they have told properly clearly they have given the disclosure that if they face bankruptcy this is how the assets of the customers would be uh, treated now let's read the tweet of brian armstrong and then let's uh, wind up this video so brian armstrong goes on may 11th that is today there is some noise about disclosure we made in our 10q today about how we hold crypto assets so he says that there is some noise which is happening in the community about how we hold crypto assets so he gives like a too long don't uh some shit i don't what was the full form of tldr too long didn't read something like that i believe anyhow so he says your funds are safe at coinbase just as they have always been so the ceo has come out and clearly oh i'm getting a message on my laptop this is it so the ceo has clearly said that your funds are safe and like always so what he says in his justification and clarification we have no risk of bankruptcy however we included a new risk factor based on the securities and exchange requirements called sab 121 which is a newly required disclosure for public companies that hold crypto assets for third parties so brian armstrong the ceo of the company says that they have said this that if they go bankrupt and all that shit it's because this is a disclosure which is required by the securities and exchange commission so i don't have time to read this disclosure probably i can read later on and maybe make a video but this is more like the boring stuff which people don't like uh, knowing so i'll just read it for my self-knowledge then he also says 
we believe our prime and custody customers have strong legal protections in terms okay for our retail customers we are taking further steps to update our user terms such that we offer the same protection to those customers in black swan events okay black swan events like such when you know btc is for the whole crypto market is falling and um, the stable coins like usdc it de-pegged from the dollar so it was supposed to be one usdc is equal to one dollar and uh, it de-pegged it fell to probably 0 0.7 or some shit i don't know if you guys are aware about that but yeah that also happened in the crypto markets in this major crash that this disclosure makes sense in that these legal protections have not been tested in court for crypto assets specifically and it is possible however unlikely that a crypto that a court would decide to consider customer assets as part of the company in bankruptcy proceeding so brian armstrong does admit that it is possible even though very unlikely that the court would say that the crypto which the company holds is actually a part of the bankruptcy proceedings even if it harmed consumers so he has actually you know tried to emphasize on that i believe or probably i don't know if he tried to emphasize on this or he just completed his quota of words in the story anyhow we should have updated our retail terms sooner he do he does admit uh, and we didn't communicate proactively when this risk disclosure was added okay my deepest apologies and a good learning moment for us as we make the change so that's very competent and professional of a ceo of a company who goes out of the way to tell the users that we are not facing bankruptcy risk and there is a fault on our side we should have been better at communication so that's something which he is doing to try to you know uh, appease the investors and the users and then he, in the end he pitches his uh, mm, self-custodial wallets for coinbase users which are uh, highly secure and these are not uh, basically mm, storing your crypto on a coinbase exchange so if you are still unsure you can definitely go and mm, you know uh, sign up for the coinbase wallet for those who prefer to store their own crypto our goal is to make the best custodial and self-custodial solutions the customers can choose the best solution for their needs we'll continue working to improve customers in our, our product so yeah that's what the whole situation is about now you know why people are talking about coinbase going bankrupt and whether there is a risk of uh you know um coinbase going bankrupt whether you should uh, withdraw all your crypto from the company and the company's stock is falling and the overall crypto is falling so the short answer is there is no risk of coinbase going bankrupt in the near term but in case such an event happens, then the way your crypto will be treated is already given in the first quarter report of 2022 of Coinbase Global. So to stay secure, what you can do is obviously use a self custodial wallet where you have access to the keys and you are or maybe use a cold wallet if you have like a big portfolio in crypto. Also, storing your cryptocurrencies on an exchange is different from storing your cryptocurrencies uh, in a self custodial wallet if you don't know the difference between that then definitely drop a comment maybe i can make a video about that or maybe i can write a linkedin post about that so that's that done also i would really appreciate if you guys can you know go and subscribe to my channel i actually started recently but some of my nft and crypto videos are uh, catching traction and i'm pretty happy to see that so if you're new to the channel then definitely check out my other videos i talk about nfts cryptos i talk about finance and self-development and education and definitely feel free to give me more suggestions in the comments whether you are expecting some sort of videos and i'll be more than happy to reply and talk to you in the comments thank you very much and peace out until next time